Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. If you guys didn't know, there is a major update coming in the next few weeks, and of course, we are already in dev vlog season, and that's what this video here is about. First, I want to say my apologies for the somewhat late upload today. I had some business to attend to, but with that aside, we have the Tornado IDS WTD-61. This will be a Rank 7 German strike aircraft that, of course, will be premium and will come with 2,500 Golden Eagles and 20 days of premium time and will cost unfortunately $69 nice 99 cents now if you get this as a pre-order which I don't know if you want to but if you want to you will get three different pre-order bonuses including the ferocious title which is pretty cool the knocked crap decal my apologies YouTube don't demonetize me and the unique prototype camouflage all of which are actually pretty cool and that decal is pretty damn good looking at least in my opinion now that being said this is pretty Pretty much, as far as I could tell, a clone of the Tornado IDS that's already in-game as an event vehicle. So this is pretty much just like a premium variant of it. Now, the dev vlog does not specifically say if this will have Cormoran anti-shipping missiles. It kind of looks like it does, just based on what we're seeing here in the pictures. But, uh, of course, the standard or the event vehicle does have those anti-ship missiles, which, as of current, are the only anti-ship missiles in War Thunder and are pretty interesting, though largely useless weapons otherwise if this keeps the same again as the tornado ids already in war thunder this will be able to carry up to 12 1000 pound bombs though will lack any sort of guided ordnance again other than the cormoran anti-shipping missile so bear that in mind now that is an 11.0 br vehicle so we'll have to see where this is if this has any loadout differences i could imagine it could be a little bit higher or possibly even lower on the tech tree in terms of br so we'll have to wait and see otherwise and so far as anti-air armament is concerned we have two aim 9ls which eh, i mean aim 9ls are pretty good don't get me wrong but at this br only having two of them is a little bit rough and we'll also have to wait and see if there are standard flare and chaff or if they are going to be flare and chaff pods, which is uh, what the standard IDS has. So you actually have to equip flare chaff pods in order to be able to get countermeasures in that vehicle because it just does not come with them natively. So here it says to round it all off are the addition of flares and chaff to help provide defense against incoming missiles. Now I'm not sure if that means that they're incorporated into the plane itself or if you have to use Use flare chaff pods i am not sure i'm hoping that's just in the vehicle itself but you never know but otherwise this just seems like a pretty standard strike aircraft we'll have to wait and see again what its br is likely of 11.0 could be 10.7 don't really see it being 11.3 but we'll have to see but that being said thanks so much for watching please if you don't mind consider liking commenting subscribing and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone